nothing but fishing thing. Right, well, I've just come fishing. It's uh, early May, and uh, we've just had a couple of days of hot weather. And uh, today being one of the hottest, it's about 19 degrees, uh, 20 degrees or more in places. Absolutely boiling hot. So I thought we'd come up uh, Hunt Street on where they pull one of the runs wars. Uh, to try a bit of surface fish. I never really had much confidence in it, so I thought I best start now. Try and build up my confidence so when the summer I can do a lot more of it. And I've been putting in some dog biscuits just down here and I've already got fish feeding. So I'm just setting up the rod and I'll get it out soon. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit more confident, then I'll put a rod in. Right, so this is the setup that I'm going to be using. Uh, I've actually got what is used with a adjustable zig, uh, but I'm using it as a surface controller because it does the same job. It's a bit weighted, so it might help to hook the fish as well. And then I've got uh, probably about two foot long hook length with imitation dog biscuit on a hair. Uh, that's eight pound zig line, so it's a bit lighter, very thin, helps to float. Uh, that's going on to about 10, 12 pound mainline. Uh, my old float rod was the first rod I ever bought, so a nice and soft action. And uh, I'm just going to be putting it down in the margin to the right. A few fish feeding, but not really uh, very confident yet, so I'm going to keep on feeding the swim before I put the bait out. Another thing to do uh, before you cast out, just to help your line float a bit more, um, is just to rub a bit of Vaseline on your line. I'm just going to put a little bit along the hook link. Only a little bit, obviously you don't want to blob it on because then your line will become visible. And just a small layer on that will help it float. It's going to put a little bit on the other side of the float as well. There we go. And that will just help the uh, everything to float a bit easier and uh, not sink because the last thing you want is for it to sink and your line sort of bowing under the under the water. Your line's going to be visible, it's going to spook fish. So keep it out of the way and it's less likely to spook the fish and uh, just generally makes everything a lot easier. Still feeding the swim. Uh, I'm going to leave it a little bit. There's still dog biscuits out there, so if they start eating them, I'll put out a few more. Um, but just to show you, when I uh, first got here, I was uh, just looking on Main Lake, talked to a few people, and uh, someone had one, so I'll quickly show you that. And he had this fish off the surface as well. Oh, that thing's on steroids, Fo mate. Foul up, mate. It's got to be. Foul up to it. Your jaw just had enough. You heard that? He's 20, mate, he? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Quite frank to me, is it? Forty-four pound on a zig. Did you? Yeah. Then that went somewhere. Not really, mate. Did it not? No. Well, you got some rod nose on that photo. <laughs> Look at that. Like, oh. <laughs> we were going to go this year, me and Gary. We had never been in France. My mate. I'll leave that for me. Going next week. Did it? Yeah, my mate's a little mons. Is it? Yeah. Two hundred two. Well, two hundred fifty quid it cost me two. A fucking David Bailey going there. Take a 23, mate. They've been took 10 kilos for the week now. With that one? They've been took 10 kilos. So, as you saw, that was quite a nice fish. Um, I'm not going to surface fish on there today, because, uh, like I said, I want to get my confidence up with surface fishing, so I've come on an easier lake. Um, and if I do alright on there, then I'll, I'll use these tactics on other places, but for now, Try and get some fish feeding in this swim. Right, well, I've just put this rod just down in the margin with a couple of handfuls of pellet over it, uh, just as a second rod. Um, just going to leave that there, unless it goes off, obviously. I'm going to focus on uh, 
the surface from. I see quite a few fish feeding now, so I reckon another 5-10 minutes I'll be putting that rod out. the rod in, it's going to give the swim a bit of a rest. Um, had a couple of uh, almost pickups, and one of them was a pickup, I missed it. Um, I just brought the rod in just to keep feeding it, get them feeding confidently again, put the rod back out and hopefully have another crack at having one. Um, there is fish in the area now, I've seen several fish. Um, so yeah, like I said, just, just going to rest it a little bit and uh, have another crack in a second. It's time to get the rod back out. First fish I've had off the surface since I was probably about 14. Don't fish this technique because I'm not very confident with it. But thought I'd come up and give it a try today. And uh, several mistakes later, I finally had this one. Probably only about three pound, but very long, very fast, hard fighting fish. And uh, he's only small, but I am so happy to have caught it. Because uh, it's given me a bit more confidence in this technique. And uh, got the whole take and everything on camera. So very, very happy. Let's get him back. Bollocks. One 
the risks of this mission. Sorry? I haven't seen it yet. I'm only using a soft action float rod, so it could be anything. I haven't used this rod in about five years. Yes. Here we go, second fish off the surface. Uh, just let the biscuit float round to the left. Eventually this one singled it out and it was nailed in the bottom lip. That was never coming off. A lot bigger than the first one, probably 12 pound-ish, low double. But awesome fight on the uh, soft action float rod. Um, like I said, I was using an old rod. It's just an old uh, float rod. It's a very soft action and uh, it took a while to get in. But uh, a lovely fish. And the second one on the surface. The sun's almost gone down now, but beautiful. Really glad I came out for this afternoon. Let's get him back. Here we go. I've already just done my end blog, but uh, the rob is on the rest. The rob is on the rest, and uh, heard a splash, looked up, and the rod absolutely ripped off on the bait runner. Shot off down the left of the margin and probably another low double but a common this time and they uh, fought really well on the float rod good fun and uh, so yeah I've already done the end blog so I'll put that in after this um, you know I'll probably say that I had two fish but obviously I've just had my third so very very happy but now that is gonna be the last fish I'm gonna wind in the bottom rod and put this one back and go home so cheers for watching blog now. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day now. Um, it came up here probably about half four. Um, I've had a couple as you saw that last one. It was quite a nice fish. And that one I just let drift round to the left of my swim. So where the wind had changed direction it slowly drifted my dog biscuits to the left. And I saw fish coming up down there so I cast the rod down and left it. And uh, it hooked itself pretty much so when I picked up the rod it was already on and it's nailed about a couple of centimetres down into its mouth. So uh, it was never coming off and it put up a really good hard fight. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with how surface fishing has gone today. Um, obviously the rods are still out at the moment, but I'm going to be bringing them in quite soon uh, and heading on. It's just gone eight, so it's going to start getting dark now. Fish don't really seem to be here anymore, but I've had a good time. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Find me on Facebook and I'll see you again soon.